So we have five tracks down and now I'm going to mix it, do a rough mix and I'm going to try uh, bouncing down those tracks uh, to do some more editing. After the mixing I tried an experiment which I was I went to uh, channels 7 and 8 and I put them on uh, PC and what I did I put a, a plug-in on uh, channel 7 uh, this is a basic um, it's all zone so there was uh, an equalizer a dynamic EQ and a maximizer and what I did I I played the the tracks uh, five tracks and I did some EQ and I tried to put it through the uh, the effects and back onto uh, seven and eight. So basically, using it as a compressor, using the computer as a compressor, um, it didn't really work. Uh, there was a lot of latency. Um, and at the moment I'm not sure how to rectify that. Um, I thought with the USB there would be... Because in a sense this is the interface. And uh, the interface that I normally use uh, with ASIO uh, reduces the latency. And uh, this is also running with ASIO. Uh, but, but there was quite a bit of latency when it goes through goes through the laptop back onto the computer seven and eight it there's a delay there so it's the advantage of doing this is is that you can use a lot of plugins that you have already and you can use them with the model 24 but if there's latency um, there's a problem. All is not lost because when I transfer all of the audio back to the computer for mastering, um, I can I I can alter seven and eight. I can nudge them across uh, on the, on the computer uh, so they match up. So the benefit of that is that the effects that I've used here on on 7 and 8 will be utilized in the final mix the reverb I added a bit of reverb uh, reverb all across here so I am getting some use but it's not on the I, I can't mix it all together and 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 uh, have a stereo out at the moment anyways uh, I tried putting a a plugin called reinsert on Reaper which is supposedly helps reduce latency uh, but it didn't unless I'm not using it correctly um, so yeah uh, this how it's been for the past three weeks. I've been trying things out, and it hasn't been hasn't been working as what I thought. I mean, the principle should be the same because if you're coming out of the auxiliary or the sub, you're coming out into an external device, and then you're going back in to a channel. So if there's no latency in that system, why is there latency on the computer unless the computer is uh, the problem uh, it's not working fast enough uh, the other option is that I go back to the interface ASIO interface and run it through the cables not the USB through the cables like I would um, an external effect like I've got, I've got a re reverb box down here and, and I use that and then uh, Maybe the ASIO driver would 
compensate. I'm not sure. More experimentation. So I transferred my eight files um, via the USB. Um, as I say, you can't play eight files. You just uh, cut and paste basically from there to the laptop. And I, I've zoomed in on the, these are my eight files here. Yeah, and if I, and there's just a bit so you can, okay, so I'm using Reaper, the, if we zoom in, uh, for some reason track 7 didn't uh, record, I'm not sure why, so we'll get rid of that for now. And if we zoom in on the the beginning, and we can have a look at that latency problem I was talking about. You see how it's off? So if I trim, if I trim it to match the other one therefore I have I have the effect from the Tascam and as well as I say, you can't match it up in the Tascam, but you can match it up in your DAW. So it's worth using the effects of the Tascam. Do the recording, do uh, the mixing, do the bouncing down. Uh, put your recordings um, through the effects, through your computer. Um, Getting, getting the benefit of both worlds even though it's out you can still alter it later on and um, and then what what I do now I mean there's nothing stopping me going back into Tascam uh, transferring the files like I did before um, and and you know doing the process again if I wanted to or just just uh, mix it and then uh, you know s send it out as a stereo file back into the DAW and uh, process it you know like like as a single file um, I mean you can do most things on the Tascam uh, it just means passing things back and forward uh, but the computer has a lot of resources and the Tascam has a lot of quality um, it depends on your sound card that you are using in your computer of course but the Tascam does have a nice sound it's a nice clear crisp sound um, but what I'll do now is probably um, do a final mix and then render it